Hopefully you've watched this series on the seven alignment targets of vinyl playback optimization and specifically the videos on SRA and VTA. In them, you'll see that I've made the case for the fact that most cartridges need a lot more correction of the back end down than any tone arm would offer and you wouldn't want the tone arm to do that effort anyway for reasons I go to go through in those videos. Now, if you're in a position where you don't want to or cannot send me your cartridge for analysis, there's still plenty you can do on your end to experiment, even just using your ears with what it sounds like to get significantly improved vertical tracking error. These corrective shims that come in different um, angular corrections, everything from positive two or three degrees all the way down to negative 10 degrees. Um, these are fantastic for people to start experimenting with and listening to what it sounds like when they correct for uh, the tra vertical tracking angle error. I would encourage you not to worry, at least at this point, not worry so much about stylus rake angle yet, but put more emphasis on vertical tracking angle. I have a number of customers who have tried, they've purchased a, uh, multiple different angles for them to begin experimenting with for their cartridges. And so far, what I've been finding is that people are tending to try to get the back end of their cartridge down as far as possible and are appreciating the additional gain in clarity and transient impact and separation between instruments in the soundstage. Consider picking up uh, a couple of these different shims of an angular correction of your choosing as a first start. If you're not sure at which angle to start, just send me a quick email telling you which cartridge you have. Some cartridges will not offer much correction. Um, others are really forgiving and will allow you to get that back end down quite a lot. Now remember, the average VTA in the market is nine degrees too high from optimal. Um, I've got plenty of other videos where I've gone into this, so uh, please watch them, starting with the one that I made as part of the series of the seven alignment targets of optimal vinyl playback. Once you've found your optimal angle using these cured resin shims, you can just stay there and live with, with that shim in there for the time being. If you, however, do want an improved sonic uh, result, you can always upgrade to the milled brass shim. It's a bit more expensive, but I think you'll hear the difference. Additional clarity, a little better, better uh, bass impact, and uh, the imaging seems to clarify a bit as well. With only very rare instances would somebody benefit from a positive angle, that is getting the cartridge higher rather than lower. It's exceedingly rare. You know, most all cutter heads were cutting at a vertical modulation angle of 18 degrees or even less. And the number of cartridges that are down at that angle on a level head shell under stylus drag, exceedingly few brands get down there. Very, very few. Um, maybe two brands that I know of will get even remotely close. So consider shimming your cartridge. Now I know what some of you are thinking. You don't want anything between your cartridge and your head shell. And my response is, that's the right first thought. But I did a video about this too. I encourage you to watch that one because, well, the thought process doesn't stop there. Let's say that. So until next week on the next soundbite, see ya.